All right, here we go. And thanks for tuning in to Witcher Math. Here's a freshie, February 13th, 2017. Put that in your uh, time capsule. Here we go. Uh, today we're going to convert from slope intercept form. This is a P, by the way. P, not R. I would say a typo, but I did not type that. Anyway, slope intercept form to standard form. Uh, slope intercept looks like that because that's the slope and that's the y intercept. That's why it's called that. Standard form looks like that. Uh, at this point, uh, in my eighth grade pre algebra style class, um, I'm just going to say there, that's what that looks like. We're not going to get into the reasons why it exists or, or when it would be useful at this point, although that is very important later. But we're going to be presented with the equations in both of these formats, and I just want to give you a quick and dirty tip on how to get from here to here. So, let's do it. I'm going to take, uh, let's go red. Let's go red. Okay, so if we're starting here, and we know that we want to get the x and the y on that side in that order, then I'm going to have to use inverse operations. Okay, I'm sticking to the uh, vocabulary that we use in class. Why? Not because we have a test, but because it's <laughs> they're the right words to use. That's why. So here we go. Gonna remember we do this to both sides. Want to balance the scales. And as you can tell, both of those. Both of those phrases are BS. Both sides, balance scales. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Yum. Here we go. Negative 3x plus y equals 4. We're almost there. But uh, the funny thing is, we uh, want to avoid uh, negative coefficient for x, if at all possible, kind of a little rule we put on here. So how do we do that? How do we change the signs? Well, quite simple. Multiply by negative 1. Everything. So I can take this equation here and put parentheses around the whole thing. That may not be proper. But to demonstrate to you the visual of, if I multiply everything by negative 1, what happens is the sign of everything changes, becomes the opposite of what it was. You remember what opposite means, right? It means uh, some number plus the negative version of that number equals 0. Okay, that's what opposite means. Anyway, here's our standard form done because we managed to get the coefficient of x coefficient how do you spell that mr witcher oh kind of like that anyway there we go so this standard form actually if we go back to our opening frame here should look like this Ha! Ah, and you had to watch almost four minutes of a video to correct that mistake if you noticed that right away. Let's do a couple of practice problems here. Oh, how about a, an example? Let's do one example, okay? Okay, copy this example down because it'll be a little bit different than that first example. Let's say we have this equation, a fraction in uh, slope-intercept form. First, we need to get rid of the fraction. And we've kind of been working on that. What's a number that I can multiply everything by to get rid of that fraction? Well, the answer is going to be 3. And just like I did with the negative 1, I'm going to multiply everything by 3. It's like equivalent fractions. If I take that and multiply it top and bottom by 3, multiplying everything by 3, I get 3, 6. I end up with two things that may look different but they're equivalent. Okay, enough of that. 
So 3y equals x minus 15. And now I need to use inverse operations that both sides, and I have negative x plus 3y equals negative 15. We don't like that negative sign, so we're going to change signs of everything, which means multiply by negative 1. And I get x, positive x, negative 3y, and positive 15. There we go. Okay. Now let's do a couple of practice problems and call it a day. Keep this video short and sweet. Here is a practice one. y equals negative 2x plus 7. And since you're probably already done with that, let me give you another one. Let's say a y equals 1 fourth x plus 2 thirds. That's our little practice section here. There we go. All right. If you're so inclined, pause the video, do those problems, come back and see me. Okay? Bye. Welcome back. If you didn't pause the video, then just, uh, hi there. There we go. I'm going to say some vocab while we're at it here, just to uh, fill up the awkward silence. Okay, we've got uh, inverse operations. Woo! That was easy. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy. Remember rule number one? Take the easies. And spell them right, too. Spelling count. Okay, now here's one that's not so easy. I want some number I can multiply to get rid of all of these fractions. Looks like 12 would probably do the job. So 12y equals 12 over 4x plus 24 over 3. Hey, I thought you were going to get rid of all those fractions. Hold on, I'm just showing my work. Chill. 3x plus 8. Now, inverse ops. That keeps happening, doesn't it? Seems kind of important. Okay. So I have negative 3x plus 12y equals 8. We don't like that. Multiply the whole thing by negative 1, the whole dang thing, and that changes all the signs. And now it's beautiful because it is in standard form. Stay tuned for more details on why it's called that and uh, when it's useful. But for now, you just got a little practice in on how to change from slope intercept to standard form. Congratulations, you've graduated to the next level. Thanks for watching with your math. Comment, click, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you later. Bye.